for the country is being felt very, very keenly. Mark White, our Home Affairs and Security Editor, was in Maidenhead, Berkshire, today. Well, this hotel in Maidenhead, the Holiday Inn, has been off limits to the wider public for more than six months, requisitioned on behalf of the Home Office to house hundreds of asylum seekers. And there's no doubt it's having an impact on the community here. One or two people said they didn't have a problem with those who are currently staying here, but the vast majority of people that stopped and spoke to us today said they were deeply concerned that it was indeed having a real impact one man, Barry Thomas, he didn't want to speak on camera because he said he wouldn't be able to stop himself from swearing. But he described some of the people here as feral. He talked about gangs of 15 to 20 people going round local shops and just lifting goods. There was nothing, he said, that those in the shops could do about it. And he said the local police weren't helping. And I spoke to another man, a taxi driver, Douglas Watts, who backed up to an extent what we were hearing from Barry Thomas. There's many concerns. Uh, the people get very intimidated when they use the cash machine at the garage because they feel that people are looking over their shoulders. There has been a large amount of um, pilfering from the uh, garage as well. I think that's sort of stopped a little bit now. Um, but they, I, Nothing against these guys, like me, but they can just wander around and do as they want. So it's a massive problem. Bicycles got theft. Uh, there's been a quite a lot bit of pilfering. So, I mean, yeah. Well, of course, the more small boats that keep coming across the English Channel, the more pressure there'll be on communities like Maidenhead and, of course, others right across the country where hundreds of hotels have now been requisitioned by the Home Office. And GB News can reveal that after more than 1,800 people crossed the English Channel on Saturday and Sunday, more than 300 have again crossed today. That takes the total who've made this journey since the 1st of January to more than 42,000. Well, Sue Alla Braverman will be hoping that her deal with her French counterpart will be able to make some difference. But of course, we've heard this before from the likes of Priti Patel, who gave millions of pounds to the French authorities to try to combat the trade in people coming across the channel. At the weekend there, our cameras captured clashes between the French authorities and those migrants trying to get to the beaches near Near Dunkirk. We can expect more of that in the coming weeks as we're expecting about 100 additional police officers into that area to bolster those French police patrols. But the truth of it is, even if they're stopped one day, they'll just come back and try again the next.